This conference will now be recorded. Okay. So what we have discussed yesterday is uh, uh, like uh, what is how you uh, declare a static variable and uh, how you declare a non-static variable and uh, even uh, the same things for a uh, uh, method also how you declare a non-static method and a static method and what is the usage of them right and how you call them right. So like uh, before uh, a method, a variable that is declared inside a method, you call that as a local variable. So any variable that is declared outside a method can be a static or a non-static variables. So there are like multiple means, names for instance variable. I can call instance variable or non-static variable or an object level variable. So I think uh, I, you are clear why I'm calling this instance variable as an object level variable, right? So it is not the, it is not the common variable. So like uh, it is going to be specific for every object like if in a, in a class I have 10 objects I'll be having 10 instance variables or a non-static variables but when it comes to the static variable so or a static method it is only uh, that the variable is commonly shared among all the objects and uh, that you call it as a static variable so here how you call a static method or a variable is nothing but by using a class name how you call a non-static is nothing but object creation. So object creation is mandatory in case of the your non-static things. So but it is not mandatory in case of your static methods. But uh, with the object creation also you can call that methods but it is not the convention. And uh, you can you you can see if I'm trying to call this company name which is a static variable with the uh what i mean to say in the uh, uh in the uh like with the object reference it is just throwing me not an error it is nothing but a warning so just try to do access with class name so if i do with class name it should not be throwing that error and uh, we have seen like uh, we and uh, we discussed yesterday uh, like and uh, not discuss just started uh, like a constructor right so uh, here whatever you see right after creating an object I can see some value so this is nothing but uh, like with a class name so this is nothing but my constructor so why I need a constructors uh, like uh, I'll let you know as I told like for example here how many employees are there like you have employees two employees but you have two attributes like employee name and id uh, for example an employee may have like 10 attributes like employee may have address pin code and uh, like the designation that he does right so in that case like after every creation again you need to doing this uh, like uh, do the set values right employee id raj like uh, employee name raj like that and employee employee emp dot designation some senior software like that so it is like uh, you are trying to after uh, creating an object you are writing that a number of times so like to avoid that what you can do is nothing but instead of giving the values after creating an object what i can do is nothing but while creating an object itself i can pass the values right so here itself while creating an object i can just pass this id name so here what i'm doing i'm creating an object with the zero parameters then i am giving the values so to understand how uh, i can pass the values uh, while creating an object you need like knowledge on constructors so just we'll discuss what is like constructor in java here uh, constructor will be of with the same name as a class name for example if i have a class a so how i can declare my constructor is nothing but the syntax for the constructor is so class name and parentheses and you will be having open parentheses and close parentheses so i think it looks similar to your method but there is a difference right so uh, how can i write what is my class Hello. name uh, uh, yes someone want to ask something hello okay if not i'll continue 
So you see, this is how I declare a constructor. So for example, if the class name is of ABC, right? So I'll be writing a constructor in this way. ABC. You see, it's like class name and open parenthesis, uh, like brackets and open parenthesis and close parenthesis. So this is my constructor. And there are two types of constructors you have. one is like i can call zero parameter or there is other name called default there is a little difference between your default and zero parameter you get understanding that more clear as we discuss and one more is nothing but parameterized parameterized constructor so where you pass the parameters is constructor parameterized construct so i think uh, you understand what is zero parameter it means while creating that constructor i will not pass any parameters to it so if you see abc is my class name and i'm just writing the constructor and uh, e and uh, do you see is there any parameters that i'm passing no right so there is a zero parameter so i can call this is nothing but my zero parameter or zero parameterized constructor zero parameter constructor okay if while creating an object i can pass some value parameters right so for a method how you have a parameter similarly for a constructor also i can pass a parameter like int a comma int b so i'm just passing this two parameters so this is nothing but my parameterized constructor okay is the constructor Uh, is this clear up to here yes okay fine and so if i want to execute the zero parameter constructor right so i want to that i want to execute or i want to call that zero parameterized constructor so how i'll be doing it is nothing but abc i'll just have a reference a1 and so abc is nothing but a class name so abc right so on creating an object what happens it's going to call your zero parameterized constructor similarly i want to call the two parameterized constructor so what i have i have this two parameter int constructor can someone tell how can i call this abc a1 a2 equals to new So like here, uh, here this constructor is not accepting any parameter, right? So then I'm just calling with zero parameter, right? And this constructor is accepting two parameters. Then how I'll be calling that of int type. So I'll be passing that two parameters of int because here you see it is two uh, parameters of int type. So the like number is this is three and four are nothing but numbers right if i have a parameterized constructor with string i would have passed the string so it is similarly how you call a method right so it is same like uh, i have a method called void m1 so if i want to call this method how i'll be calling with just m1 right i have a m2 with some int a right so where i have a parameter so how i'll call this method so m2 and parenthesis i need to pass which type i need to pass int so any number right it's three or four so this is how i call this m2 and this is how i call the m1 same way in similar fashion when you want to execute the zero parameterized constructor like on creating an object like zero parameterized constructor gets executed so i have two parameterized constructor so i just want to execute that two parameterized constructor in that case i'll be creating with i'll be passing this two parameters like uh, three and four which will be executing this two parameterized constructor okay i'll create one more class or so in this case right so as i told here you are passing this values right like uh, id and uh, name right after uh, before creating an object like you are trying to 
uh, uh, create a zero parameterized constructor and assigning in that values so instead of that while creating an object itself i can assign this value so how can i write how can i can have a two parameterized constructor in my class so why i need two parameterized constructor i have two variables of int and employee id and name right so what are the parameters of my constructor should be like int and string so you see this is a constructor this is where this is zero parameter because i don't have parameter but i my requirement is anything but while creating an object itself i just want to pass the values so i'll be having this parameters like this int employee id comma string by name so these are nothing but what you can say this employee id and employee name are nothing but your local variables right but this emp id and emp name are what they are nothing but your instance variables so that is diff uh, like uh, different for every object right so here what i need to do while creating an object what is the value that i get here i need to be assigning it to mpid so what are the value that i get gets in employee name i need to be assigning it to employee emp name so how i do that so simple emp id equals to employee id right and emp name equals to employee name that you get pa that you got passed while creating an object so here how i'll call that so i'll not be passing one comma raj like this so what i can do i can just pass one comma raj while creating an object itself i can able to pass i can remove this code right similarly when i am creating an employee 2 object so what is the data for two employee 2 like 2 and rahul so is it required here no it is not right if i have this things if it gets confused i'll clear it If this font is not fine i like and i can able to increase the size is it fine okay hope everyone can see this okay so i am just creating an object itself i am passing one comma raj so what happens it gets called this constructor and one comes to employee em, employee id and employee name are nothing but your local variables right so that local variable value one i am giving it to instance variable this local variable value i am giving it to the instance variable so what i have done in uh, previous scenario right emp1 dot id here i have done right for employee one dot employee id so one instead of passing like this while creating an object itself i am just passing it the values okay and i'll be getting the similar kind of output one comma raj i just have not done that like the output will be the similar so the way that i get executed i just change it and i hope you understood why i have just changed it like for example if i have 10 attributes i like initializing that 10 times it's not good right so while creating an object itself i will just pass the values uh, is this clear yes so yeah yeah okay thank you so this is with uh, uh, zero uh, like two parameterized constructor right so if you see uh, there is one th like if you see this employee id and employee name are nothing but the your local variables 
and emp id emp name are nothing but your instance variables right so the names are different right but assume that if i have same names right my local variable name and my instance variable names are same right so what i will be doing is nothing but instead of employee id i'll be passing this employee id only right here in this case my local variable and instance variable names are same right so i can have same names also right so i just passing like this okay so if i execute this can someone tell what will be my output it is the same like one one raj uh, two rahul or something else i think it should throw an error okay it should be the same sir okay uh, can you please see this code once again what i have done previously i'm just uh, think you understood what I, what is this previous this is the previous one where you got output right your local variable name and your instance variable names are same and local variable name value you are giving it to the instance variable here also local variable value you are giving it to the instance variable right now but what i am doing is nothing but i am just taking this variable names are same in different case that's not an issue right but in the same case you are telling it you are you will be uh, like i am just giving an assign assigning right the same whatever the local variable name i am giving it to assign to uh, instance the same way i am doing it okay so someone told it's an error and someone told it's an a uh, same output right so is there any answers because both are wrong answers uh any guess or something will be up to you it's not a guess okay just try to tell like what will be the output whatever uh, the, uh, it will not throw an error and the output is also not the same it is going to be the different one after executing it hmm? sorry i think it will be an error uh someone was trying to tell something or i think it will be an error i think both the time it will uh, print only uh, two and rahul no that is also not right okay i'll see i'll i'll show why i'll explain why that output will come you see that is zero comma null zero comma null why because the default values for an integer is zero the default value for a string is null what is the meaning of default value for example if i declare a variable right and i am not giving any value for that variable it is going to print its default value in this case you have declared employee id and employee name but you are not giving the values for them here you you can say that you you can assume that you are passing the values but it is not getting assigned to, the, to that i'll let you know why but that's the reason it is going to print the default values that is your uh, zero and null okay so if you see this warning over here why it is coming at zero and null if you see this warning here the assignment of employee id has no effect the assignment of employee name has no effect so when you declare your local variable and your instance variable names are same this is nothing but my instance variable which is nothing but object level variable and this is nothing but my local variable right so your compiler cannot identify which is the object level variable and which is nothing but your method level variable so your compiler cannot identify so there is no difference right so this assignment has no effect so for which one you are assigning which value so your compiler cannot identify and it is going to print its default values that is nothing but your uh, that uh, like uh, for an integer the default value is zero and for a string the default value is null so that is how why it is printing this zero and null zero and null is this clear i'll let you know like how, uh, when it is name how you achieve this i'll tell but why it is printing zero and null is it clear <coughs> yes sir okay fine 
so in this case so i think you heard or seen this whenever your local variable and instance variable names are same to make the differentiation you will be using a keyword called this so this dot emp id and this dot emp name so it means this refers to an object level so local value local variable value i am just giving it to the instance variable local variable value i'm just giving it to the instance variable like that so like every object creation this get this constructor gets called and your local value get given to the local variable value given to the instance variable like you can see the difference right it is getting dark and blue color right so it is making no difference right but when you write this keyword it is getting your local value getting assigned to the instance so you when you use this this keyword this is one of the keyword in java so when you will be using this keyword is nothing but when your local variable name and instance variable names are same you can use this this keyword if i run i'll be getting that previous output like one raj and two rahul you can see that right one raj and two rahul employee data which i am getting it like uh, how the with the previously how it worked the same way i was getting it okay uh, so i hope this is clear right uh, if i don't ask also please stop me whenever you feel uh, like a little confused or when you are not clear with the topic please okay because as i told earlier also every topic is interlinked right so if you don't understand constructor if you don't understand uh, how you pass the parameters you will not understand this keyword and this this things right so similarly like whatever the topic uh, which we discussed now for sure it's going to get linked with the upcoming topics okay so this yes, is how yes, you are yes yes, yes sure mm. yeah can you quickly uh, explain this whole problem uh, in any minute mm. okay sure yeah because we have I'll write, so much of yeah. okay i'll try to debug and tell you even so that means uh, i think uh, some of you have known or not known so debug is nothing but so generally you can run your application in two modes one is like debug and one is uh like in a uh, normal mode so what i'm doing before like i'm just running it right so i i'll just get an output so i was not doing a debug debug is nothing but i can inspect each and every point and see what will be the output so here i'm going to explain uh, with the debugging mode so what i've done here is nothing but i'm just coming from the uh, like uh, from the first what i've done so i've created an employee object and i have created a constructor of two parameterized constructor with employee id and name so why why because i have two attributes like employee id and name right and i have created a static variable called company name and i have a method called get emp so it is going to get me uh, like for an em every employee it is going to get that employee data like employee id and employee name so this is nothing but your employee id and employee name this method is going to get written that value so whenever whatever you want to see it in the console when you write system dot out dot print ln so that can that which will uh, by the when you write it that data can be seen in the console right as i told every program starts from the main method so this is the main method and i have created a constructor over here and with the two parameterized one and uh why like you see it is like what is a two parameterized things it is passing it is expecting integer type and string type so that is the reason i'm one is an integer in type and raj is a name so i'm passing this two parameterized constructor so auto, when i create an object automatically this line number seven gets get called right and it is going to give this one value to emp id and uh, this value to this and similarly in the second way also right uh i if i want to run this application in a debug mode uh, what i can do i can just right click on it and you can see run as and debug as java application so your uh, compiler gets uh, uh uh sorry your compiler will be coming to this main method and you can just see each and every line when you do the debugging it is very useful in case of long applications right and you can see the right side the variables right string arguments is the arguments that you have with no values 
right and i don't have an object here so just uh, uh, now what i'm doing i'm just clicking f6 f6 is the one where from this point if you want to go to the next step you will be clicking on this f6 right i have just clicked on f6 what happened as i told whenever you click on the f6 uh, like this right so as i told once the method a uh, compiler was here like you are calling this two parameter as i told it comes to this place right it came it whenever compiler encounters this uh, new employee and it came to this line right so what is the id you are passing one and raj you can see what is the id here one and raj so em employee id is nothing but one and raj this employee id and this employee name is nothing but your local variables you can see this there is a this parameter right so which has this is nothing but m object level variables right emp id here and emp name here is nothing but object level variables i think you can find the difference right so this is nothing but with the same names but you can see i'm just uh, minimizing it so this emp id emp name are nothing but the local values when i expand this keyword you can see emp id and emp name these are nothing but object level you can see this is one object which has an id called 23 just an assumption so initially before doing an assignment as i told what will be the your initial values what will be the default values for an integer it is zero for a string it is null you can see the same thing right so now what you are doing this one what what i am going to do i am going to give this one value to this instance variable i am going to give this raj value to this instance variable emp name so if i ex if i press f6 now this one should be assigned to here and it this value should become as one right f6 you can see this one got assigned to here and now emp name is null and local uh, 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 this instance variable value is none null and the local variable value is raj so here if i press f6 after executing this line this raj should be assigned to this value right and you can see got assigned now local variable values are got assigned to the object level variables by using this keyword i just done that okay now this method execution completed so where it will go it, it will go to the place where it gets called right this constructor execution get completed now it will come to again if i press f8 it will come again to 28 line it came right now i'm just giving this uh, like uh, instance variable value as tcs like the that is what okay you can see this value is not under object because this is not object level variable this is global level so if i press f6 again what it uh, emp1 dot get emp employee data so what it is going to call it is going to call this method and return this values one and raj okay i have not put the debugger here so that is the reason it didn't came if i put a debugger you'd have come if you want to go inside a method you should be pressing f5 uh, so f6 so now what happened it came to this location now the id is 2 and employee name is so this is for another object and this object again will have zero and null values so after executing again this values gets assigned to that to get assigned again rahul get assigned to emp name right and as i call em get emp data this method gets called and it is going to print that value system dot out dot print ln it is going to print in this console if i press f6 f6 is nothing but you are going forward direction okay uh, is this clear actually this execution with uh, debugging yes okay thank you uh, give me one minute i'll just get some water
okay and in constructors um, there is like uh, as i told you have two parameterized and parameterized constructor right so you have just seen this parameterized constructor on creating it's getting executed right even you have zero parameterized but there is a condition as i told i'll make you clear, clear on uh, what is uh, parameterized and what is zero parameterized you see okay uh, as i told i'm just writing it uh, this is this is my class name test right and i have a method called public static void my name i'm just writing a zero parameterized constructor I'm just writing inside the zero parameter constructor. So similarly, as I told, I can have parameterized constructor. So I'm just having one parameterized constructor string, some name I'm giving. Okay, of string type. So I'm using with the class name. So system dot out dot print and it's going to print me the data in the this thing. So inside two parameter constructor. One minute, sorry. Okay, sorry. So if I'm trying to write like this, right? So can someone tell me what will be the output? Uh, it is going to come with a zero parameter and two parameter or only one output will come. As I told, like once you create an object constructor, it's going to call this method, right? So now uh, inside, sorry, not one, it is two, not to one parameterized. So can, can someone tell what will be the output like inside zero parameter constructor and inside one parameter or only one output will come? Zero parameter, right? Inside zero parameter. Big, uh, because I have not creating an object oh. for one parameterized, right? So for sure it is going to come only one output. Because I have, I have like declared a constructor, but I was not calling that. If I pass the value, so it is of string type, right? That is the reason it is showing me an error. I pass the value like this. So now it is going to get me the inside one parameter. okay if i create one more object and test t1 equals to new and test so i've created an object how many how many ways like with one parameter and with two parameters so i'll be i should be getting two outputs so inside one and inside zero parameter right okay so Assume that I have not created any objects. Uh, 
okay i hope this was clear right assume that i have not created any objects so what will be my output in this case nothing right did i get anything no because i have not created any I, i'll just execute the programs and i'll tell you the concept okay uh, so i have not created uh, any uh, uh, object so i am not getting any output right so what i am doing i am just commenting out this one parameterized right i am just removing this one parameterized okay and if i run it so still i am not going to get any output here even if i remove this right and if i am trying to write like this as your compiler is throwing any error no because uh, you see i do not have one parameterized but your compiler still not throwing an error so but if i am trying to write like this i i do not have one parameter but i am trying to write that one parameter this wrong error i'll come again you have one parameter you have zero parameter one parameter so when you have both like you are creating both that is not an issue right so and when you have one param zero parameter you are creating zero parameter not an issue right so if you see i just removed this zero parameterized constructor from the applic my code right so if i am creating the zero parameterized constructor right so does your compiler is throwing an error here no right but if i am trying to create the same thing you see there is no one parameter but if i am trying to create this one parameter it is throwing an error you can see your compiler cannot identify this did you understand what uh, i am trying to tell why your compiler is behaving in two different ways so if it is so if it is throwing here here it should here also it should throw error right because i don't have to have zero also but why your compiler is only throwing in case of one parameter did you get me actually whether i am trying to confuse you or uh, did you get my what i am trying to tell i think by default it is creating a bit confusing yes. so, yeah. uh, yes. so it uh, it will be little confused but uh, once you understand the concept it will be clear but uh, the thing here is what i am trying to tell is nothing but if i write a point you make it little clarity So by default, by default, it means if you don't do anything, also your compiler is having default constructor. I mean to say default or zero parameterized constructor. so what i am trying to tell is nothing but in a class if you do not write zero parameterized constructor also if you do not if you are not writing zero parameterized constructor what happens your compiler is going to write the zero parameterized constructor for you right 
only zero parameter your compiler will write only zero parameter it is not going to write one parameter so in this case right i do not have one parameter i do not have zero parameter right so when i am trying to create an object with zero parameter constructor also why the compiler is not throwing an error is because your compiler is going to write the zero parameterized constructor while executing the program it is going to check if it is not there your compiler is going to write the zero parameterized constructor but it is not it is not having any output and that is the reason you will not get anything so this is the one i am just assuming it this is the one written by compiler and by compiler while compiling the code if you do not have not have any constructor neither one or zero constructor in the class so when the compiler will write so compiler will not write one parameter or two parameterized constructor will not be written by compiler compiler will write only the default constructor that you call it as zero parameterized constructor in which case it's going to write when your class is not having any constructors so in this case if my class is not having any constructor your compiler is going to write it and that is the reason you are not going to get any error while you are trying to create with zero parameter even this was not there in your class right this was not there in the class you are not getting an error why you are not getting any output because nothing was written right so like uh, uh, your compiler will just write but it will not write any code so that is the reason it is it, it is not throwing any error but in this case right if i am trying to create an object with one parameter so your compiler will throw an error because your compiler will not write any parameterized constructor so this is like parameter one parameter is nothing but it's a parameterized constructor so as i told your compiler will never write any parameterized constructor that is the reason this error gets thrown but it is not getting thrown for zero parameterized constructor is this clear it is clear why uh, there is an error for one parameter why there is an a not why there is no error for zero parameter because zero compiler is going to write the zero parameter for you but it will not write parameterized that is the reason it is going to getting an error for parameterized so in that case when you want to declare a parameterized constructor explicitly in a program you need to write a parameterized constructor Is this clear? Is there any yes. specific use of the default constructor? Uh, sorry, is there any? A specific usage of the default constructor or why it is automatically written? Uh, not a uh, like the usage in the sense whenever you, as I told, right? So whenever you create an object, right? So it is going to do the initialization of all your instance variables right like uh, by default values right so in uh, most of the like uh, the classes or also like i just want to create an object but i don't want to initialize those values i i want them as a default values then i can use i can go with a zero parameterized constructor then you will be having the your uh, uh, like default values so for example when i will go for zero or when i go for one i'm just parameterized if i am trying to create an object with zero parameter i cannot pass the values for instance variables right so in that case my instance variables values will be the default values what will be the default first integer it will be the zero and for a string it will be null but while creating an object itself i just want some values to be passed i just want that initialize that uh, that uh, variables to, with some specific values then i will be using this parameterized in that way yeah thank you okay okay, okay. and uh, if you see uh, again in this program this error was not there previously but now it is getting thrown i removed this right so what what it is telling it is telling me that one parameterized need to be written because the compiler will not write one parameterized it will write zero parameter that is the reason 
it is getting not through another but so to accomplish that i am trying to write one parameterized constructor right string yeah or something now if you see this error gets thrown which is undefined which is not there previously now it is getting thrown if i comment this that error will go fan comment this again this uh, zero parameter error will get thrown why because if you see here compiler will write zero parameter i told compiler will write zero parameter but there is if condition if and only if your class is not having any constructors night zero or one parameter constructor in case if your class is having parameterized constructor or whatever the constructor if your class is having constructor your compiler is not going to write the constructor so explicitly you need to write the constructor so if i want even this to be executed i i need to be writing the constructor so I'll tell it in more clear points here. By default, your compiler is going to have zero parameterized constructor, or I can say it is going to create a zero parameter constructor. Create zero parameter constructor. But it is not true in all the cases. The case if, if find only if your class is not having any constructor in it so you should not write any constructor in the class in that case only it is going to write the zero parameterized constructor if you are writing any constructor even it, it will not write the zero parameterized constructor you can get this with this example right so if i don't have anything right I don't I uh, you see I am not having any constructors in my class so I do not have any constructors right so in this case it is not throwing an error right forget about this right it is not throwing an error so this is the condition right your compiler is having zero parameterized constructor and defined only if your class is not having any constructor so my class is not having any constructor and that is a reason this error is not getting thrown but assume that if i am writing any parameterized constructor in my class or this even zero parameter in that case your compiler will not write it is your duty to write that zero parameterized constructor so if i am writing this parameter constructor now your compiler will not write and it will throw an error this zero parameter because your class is having parameterized constructor so even you want this to be executed in that case you should be writing with this zero parameter explicitly by you so i'll just recall what i told i told compiler will write only parameter sorry will write only zero parameterized constructor or i can call that as default constructor but the key situation is it is if and only if your class is not having any constructor your compiler will not write any kind of one parameterized or two parameterized constructors if you want to uh, uh, like uh, call the objects with two parameter explicitly you need to be writing the two parameterized constructors in your class Is it confusing or clear? It's clear. Okay. You can just go through this recording also once again. You get more idea. Uh, Surya, are you uploading this uh, recording? Ah, uh, yes. There is some uh, like YouTube list will be there. Uh, like playlist will be there. I think yesterday class was missed with recording, but per today we'll be uh, applying that. Okay, thanks. Okay. And I'm just writing inside. Hmm. 
inside zero parameter okay so as i told if i want to execute one parameter i'll be calling like this and if i want to execute two parameter i'll be calling like this with two, one, uh, two um, that many objects right so assume that if i have three constructors so i want the output of this three actually one zero two right so then what i should be doing it i should be creating this three objects right one parameterized two parameterized three parameters but with but creating one object itself if i want to execute other two as well so that is by using this keyword right this construct this with parenthesis if you see when i execute when i create this object what happens it's going to call this method right from this method if i want to call one parameterized constructor so what is the parameter for one parameter it is string so it will call that one parameterized constructor so from one parameterized constructor if i want to call two parameterized constructor so what i can do this and i can pass two values So assume that if I don't have this keyword, right, my output will be only zero parameter. Am I right? Only with zero parameter. Why? Because I have created only object with zero parameter and it is going to call this zero parameter and it's going to get that zero parameter inside zero parameter. But what I need, I want to execute all these parameters one, two, zero. Uh, all these three things but in that case i don't want to create three objects what, what i can do instead of creating three objects i can use this keyword to do that operation so this from zero i am calling one from one i am calling two so this is how i'll be executing three and for sure this three will get executed one zero two but can someone tell what will be the order of them like it is one zero two or zero one two like that i'm just creating a zero parameter constructor uh, can tell what will be the order and someone if i execute this program it's zero one and two zero one nine one two and zero i think Okay. One zero two. One zero two. Many answers. One comma zero comma two. That is one answer. One more answer is zero one and two. Zero comma one comma two. One, two, and zero, I think. One, two, and zero. Zero. Okay. Two, one, zero. Oh, still there. Fine. Zero. Still in any answers? If you do permissions and combinations, you'll get not, but. Okay, so we'll do, we'll see this today or tomorrow because it is like uh, in movie. Uh, hmm, sorry, we'll see this today. Okay, generally I'm just kidding. Like generally you'll be in movies or somewhere. Like uh, we'll just give that what happens next and we'll close that session, right? Similarly, I just want to close the session by writing a program. So yeah, that's why I don't do that. <laughs> okay, so here you just see like when i just like just see whenever you have 100 lines of code also just go with the flow whatever i'm this is like very few lines but what is the basic things to, uh, how you go with the flow is nothing but whenever i i call a method right i am just from m1 method i am calling an m2 method 
from m2 method i am calling an m3 method like that right so so once m3 method gets completed what happens it is going to go to the caller method that is m2 right and once m2 gets completed it's going to go to its caller that is like your main method it is also the similar fashion so whenever i call created a zero parameter what happens it is going to go to the zero parameterized constructor right so from this what you are doing you are calling one parameterized constructor right then what happens as the moment the compiler enters with this so it is going to go to the one parameterized constructor so from one parameterized constructor where it is going again you it is going to two parameter so now what happens it goes to this two parameter is there any call over here no right so now what will execute it will execute this two parameterized constructor right so after executing this two parameterized constructor so can someone tell from where it gets called how from where this two parameterized get called one one yeah. parameter right so it will go to the there is nothing over here now then it will go to this caller method that is like one parameterized so then what happens it will execute this one parameterized constructor thing that is your one right first two parameter next one parameter i think you can tell now so from where this one parameter is get called it called from zero parameter so it will go to the zero parameter and it will execute this so next will be your zero parameter so after that it will come from zero parameter again who called the zero parameter main method and it will come to this main method and nothing over here and it, your compiler gets terminated your uh, like your program gets terminated from main method again if you have any call it will go to that particular method so the output will be 210 is there any output matching two with 210 yes the last one is right it is so no 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 uh, yes 210 is right Surya, can you repeat this? Yes. Ah, sure, I'll do that. It will see the output. Okay, it is two one zero. Uh, I think is it uh, like uh, somewhat clear for a few, or it is not like at all clear for few? I any no one. Yeah, it's kind of clear. Okay, because if it is for most of you, if it is not clear, I thought of debugging it. So then I'll just tell you again. Uh, so as I told here, we are creating zero parameterized constructor, right? So whenever we create a zero parameterized constructor, it is going to go to the zero parameterized constructor thing, right? So it is similarly, no, no, no worry about a constructor. As I told, I just given an example, right? So I have a main method. right so from main method if i am just calling m2 method so m1 method right so again i have an m1 method here okay and from m1 i am just calling m2 right so it will go to m2 method so this is like a declaration and calling things right so from main you called m1 it will your compiler will go to m1 so from m1 you called m2 right your compiler will go to m2 right and it will execute this it will complete this block after completing this block where it will go it will go to the caller so who is the caller of your m2 is nothing but your m1 who is the caller means from which place this m2 get called so this is nothing but caller this is nothing but your called method so after completing where it will go it will not directly go to the main method because it get called from the m1 so it will go to m1 right so it after going here it will like complete this m1 execution after that who called this m1 main method and it will come to the main method it's simple like uh, if someone has given you some task to do right so it'll complete the task and what you do you just report that to them that i have completed the task so for some x person there will be some other person has given it so he will, he will just report that uh, whatever you have done to another person right so there are like 10 people but only one person given the task to you right so you'll just tell that okay my task is completed to that one person that one person can tell to the remaining person who just told them right the same way i'm just trying to compare it so here also the same it is going to go, go to this zero parameter from zero parameter 
I'm passing one parameter. So uh, this with this with one parameter. So it will go to the one parameterized constructor. This is a place. So from one parameterized constructor, I'm just again calling two parameterized. So it will come to this place, right? After coming over here, it will execute here and it will go to the who called this method. Two parameter got called by one parameter. Again, it will execute this. So one, who called one parameter? Zero parameter. So it will come over here and execute the zero parameter. Hope it is clear, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, so you can just go through the recordings and uh, you can just uh, like do this practices, whatever we discussed with com constructors or instance, local variables, try to uh, make your hands dirty because once uh, like you, until you start yeah, co writing the code, recording. you'll not be getting it. Ah, uh, sorry. Someone asked something. Okay. Where we get this recorded sessions? Uh, I think if you are in the group, uh, you should be getting it actually. Uh, in a group, we are just sharing that playlist. I think we again, uh, it was uh, yesterday. The recording was not done. That was that is the reason it was not shared. Uh, but today, I'll be, uh, after this session, we'll just even uh, place that playlist, and you can see this recordings again. Okay. Okay. Mm, if no queries, I'll just wind up the session. Thank you. Thank you all.